G'day guys, welcome back, that's a tall bottle, um, I'm going to try the uh, daisy flower again for you and I'm going to try this resin, uh, I've never used it before, craft resin it's called, it's a one to one, they're only little bottles, I got them from Amazon just to test them, um, that's A, that's B, if you're not used to them, the resin is A, the hardener is B, okay, equal amounts, <clears throat> although in saying that, I weighed them when they arrived, and this one was 606 grams and this one was 560 grams. So my theory works on those as well, that A is heavier than B. Right, let's get started. Um, the white, I am using the Cast and Craft today just to see how that goes. And it's, it's pretty opaque. When I tip it right over, I can see the edge of the stick, but pretty opaque. <clears throat> More opaque than I would use for my... 3D Bloom. Now I'm using the acrylic inks by Holbein. I've got the Indanthrene Blue and I'm going to make that just a little bit darker. Make sure you don't open it over your resin or over your mold because it gets all these little dry crusty bits on it. One, two, there's only a tiny bit of resin in there. Let's just try two and then I want to make it a bit darker. So when you're adding your black uh, if you only want a tiny bit, just put a little bit on a toothpick. Don't put a whole drop in. Like let it drop off and then what's left put in there and then <laughs> that will be probably plenty. Um, yeah, and I probably won't even wipe <laughs> that. Let's stir it in there. I'll wipe that off. All right, so that's how I do my black if I don't need a lot of black. Um, if you want it darker, you know, you can do another little toothpick full, but I think if you do a whole drop, you might be disappointed in it. So that was two, um, might do three, three of the indanthrene. Look, it's different, um, three, there we go, write it on, write it down. It's going to be different, the amount is going to be different depending on which um, resin inks you're using, how much resin you've got in the cup, so you can't just say, oh, well, Julie used three drops, so I'll use three. It, it all depends on how much resin you've got in your cup, the brand of your resin, um, uh, the brand of your inks. You can have acrylic inks, you can have resin inks, don't use alcohol inks. Right, this one's primary cyan. One, two, three, we'll try three as well. One, two, three. Let's do three. I have got a little bit more in this cup. Uh, the darker one I'm going to use on my edge and then the lighter one I'm going to use in the middle. Okay, there we go. So six. Let me write that on my notes. Um, and then I am going to put one drop of the cyan just in my in with my push. Oh my gosh, two went in. <gasps> two went in. I didn't want two. Let's see if I can get one out. A little bit out with my ta just the tip of a paper towel. There we go. Little little trick for you. <laughs> now this is warming up. Um, now back to the craft resin. Uh, it's similar in CPS or centerpoise, which is the viscosity, like how thick the resin is. Similar to Let's resin. Let's resin is 1500 CPS. Um, this craft resin is 1400 CPS so I did mix it up and then wait I mix up about 140 grams total got that 140 150 because um, it's only a little mold it doesn't need a lot of resin this is the small fine crystal live edge mold so you can if you want just have one color I just choose to put two colours in a dark and a light but you could just have one colour in the middle uh, and make it simple more simple it's a very simple um, little technique um, I learnt it from Micah from resin courses uh, which I'll link down below for you you can take her course and she'll tell you what resins to use how much of everything to use <laughs> it's very simple all right Although in saying that, you do need to work out which resin works best for you because some of them don't work as well. All right, now the white, I'm just going to pour that into the center like so. Let's 
scrape it out. So basically it's just it's just um, three puddles. You do your, your coloured puddle, you do your white puddle and then you do your clear puddle at the end. Now it's still up to discussion about whether we, when we do this clear at the end, whether we push it in hard or push it in slow. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, um, I've sort of tried both and I don't seem to see any benefit for either at this stage, but I'm going to do this one slow just to see, just to see, just try, try not to, um, you know, move the white too much out of the way because I want, I want the white to stay in the middle and then when, you know, when you push your resin at the end, it really pushes everything away to the sides um, and then in, with this particular technique, the, um, the white doesn't come back totally in the middle and then you end up with quite a big empty void in the center. So just trying to go a little bit slower with it so that we don't push all the white out. I've probably got about a 20 center, 20 centimeter, 20 cent coin size. If we all remember what a 20 cent coin looks like. Don't use cash anymore. <laughs> I guess some people do. Oh, I'll just tap, tap and go. All right. Now, I know it's taking a little while, but I'm trying not to dislodge that white too, too much. So, put a little bit more in. I'll just gently scrape just so that it's fuller. I think that'll do. Now you can probably already see that there's a big empty white space in the center there. Even though I did try to you know, push it really slowly, it's, it's still there. Um, I don't know what's going on with my white. What are you doing, white? Ah, I don't know what it's doing. It's only on the surface though, so it should be fine. It might be the heat, like when you torch. Sometimes when you torch the white, it does weird things. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, I won't probably be able to see what's happening on the bottom. Um because the top closes over it and then the white stays uh, yeah the white doesn't what am I trying to say the top closes over and you can't see through it what's going on in the bottom but I can already see that there's a big empty space there what if I try to take some out now I know I've just put it in but then sucking it out might help it close if I suck some right from the bottom Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'll use that. I'll make a little puffy heart out of that. It's still quite a big centre in the middle. But anyway, we'll just leave it at that. I'll put you on a bit of a time lapse. And uh, we'll see what happens. Don't know. Righto, it is ready. I let it sitting, I let it sit out for about an hour, I guess, until it was sort of touch dry in the middle. Sides were still soft, and then I picked it up and put it in my curing machine for another hour, and it's ready. So I don't know that it changed a lot since you saw it last, but it's got these cute little, cute little features in there. So oh my gosh, I am super excited. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Um, new resin, never used the. Um, craft resin before I have high expectations of this one so if it doesn't work I'm gonna be really disappointed I can see a clear void <laughs> in the center I'm gonna be disappointed if it doesn't work all right here we go oh no it didn't really work <laughs> oh my gosh 
maybe I shouldn't have let it wait. Next time I'll, I won't wait. I'll just pour without waiting. I do like the colours. I do like the silver. I won't wait next time. All right, so I went again. This was the last one, and I said to you, I'm going to go again. Um, I did change a couple of things. I didn't, look, I didn't video it because the pour was exactly the same as uh, this one. I did exactly the same. Um, the only thing different, I added one drop of black instead of like a toothpick full of black. So it went quite dark. Um, and um, now that I'm thinking of it, I, I think I forgot to put the silver in. <laughs> I was baking and then I forgot to come back. Anyway, so that was the last one. And uh, so I used the same resin, the craft resin. Um, no waiting this time. I just mixed it, decanted it, and, and poured. So that's what the other one looked like. And you can see that it's quite, like I showed you before, it's quite, quite sharp little effects. I don't know what you would call them. And then this one is a lot more sort of open and puffy. Um, I did also go back to my bloom. <laughs> Look, if it, if it works, I'll do another video, okay? I went with my bloom, whereas with the other one, I did the cast and craft, okay? So that was waiting 10 minutes. This is not waiting at all. So let's let's see if it's, if it's any better. I hope so. You can get so disheartened, can't you, when you're trying these things and you see everyone else doing them and you can't do them. So, but look, I keep trying. I do keep trying until I hopefully can do it. Just little, little soft bits there. I can just pick those off later. All right. Now, I can't see through at all. It's still quite soft from being in the curing machine. All right. Here we go. Let's have a look. Oh, wow. That's getting closer. Wow. Now I wish I'd put my silver stones in. Oh, I forgot. Wow. Goodness me, look at the little petals. That's almost, almost right. I'm thinking maybe I just put a little bit too much bloom in. Next time I'll just reduce the drops by just, maybe by two drops. It's, it's quite a heavy, it's quite a heavy paste. Um, and then, yeah. <laughs> put the silver in I'll remember to put the silver in so anyway that's you can see the difference waiting 10 minutes not waiting 10 minutes and there you there you go so a little experiment for you oh pretty happy with it I do need to find something to put over that though so um maybe a silver sticker how about I'll go I'll go see what I can find hang on in my little box of goodies so I've got my little packet of stickers, my little go-to packet of stickers, um, and I've just been looking through them. Um, so there's a few, they've got different sorts of shades of blues and greens. Nothing's really taking my fancy so far, that one's alright, I could trim trim one of those off actually they've got that one I've used previously I could trim that one so I could potentially use that one let's use the same one again uh, these have all got lots of little little flowers on them and there's that sort of thing um, and then the one that I thought that I would like is this one because it's got the same sort of shades of blue on it it's a little bit too big though um, otherwise that one I might trim them both up and, and see which one I like because this one's been used before this little sticker so I can just trim around there, Not leave that little leaf. These aren't the sharpest scissors. <laughs> I've got resin and 
glue and tape all over them. So leave that leaf. I'll cut this little gold thing out. Just continuing on with my little flower series. <laughs> my flower in a flower. Gosh, it probably would have been all right if I'd had some silver in, but uh, maybe not. All right, move all this out of the way. So that's kind of what that one will look like. Hmm. I'm in love with it. Just put it over there for a minute. Now there's this one, which again is just a bit too big. I'll just do a little bit of trimming and then see if I like this one. I might keep, no, I won't keep that. I don't think I'll keep the butterfly either. This colour to me lends itself more to to silver. I, the only silver things I had were really quite big and I didn't think that they would suit so just came up with this one instead. A little bit too big. I don't really want to lose that other leaf, but it's just a bit too too big for my liking. I don't know if it'll look okay with just one leaf. I'm not sure. We'll see. Let's see, otherwise I can get rid of it. Otherwise, I mean, I can always cut cut that leaf out and put it put it somewhere else. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that either. I don't really like any of them. Oh my gosh. No. All right. I'm going to have to have another look. I'm going to try with a little bit of glitter in the center. So what I'm going to do, and I can do a top coat. I'm just going to cut the end of a... Um, paper towel like that and I'm going to use my quick grip glue. I'm just going to spray some on there like so and then I'm going to put a little bit of glitter over the top. I don't know if this is going to work you guys. I don't know. Let's just do that. And um let that dry for a minute. <laughs> let that dry. It's got some pretty sparkly silver glitter there. We'll let that dry. And then um, I'll brush, brush it off. I'm going against my flower in a flower series. I just didn't, just didn't like any of those. I wanted the silver glitter. Uh, it's a, this is a very, very fine glitter. It's not the, ch the thick, chunky one like that. So this one's pretty easy to put a layer on and then, you know, do a top coat of uh, resin if you want to, if you really love it. Just make a bit of tidying up here. It's a quick drying glue, so it should, with any luck, be okay. Should set up pretty quickly. Oh, okay. That's much better. Probably need to just brush it a little bit. Brush it where I want it. Because I didn't put the glue that far out. I can feel there with the, I can feel the glue on the, the edge there. Brush that off. I've just got it on a piece of plastic here so I can pick it back up again if I want to. Okay. I haven't quite got it centered. 
see if I can put a little bit more Anyway, you get the general idea. I'll have a little fiddle with it and just try and get a little bit of glue um, just on the edge there, just because it's not quite centered. So I'll, I'll use my little my little circle again, and uh, I'll spray a little bit more on, uh, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so there it is. <laughs> it's quite a big silver circle, but. I think it's better than it was before. Now, when I look through my screen, it looks very blue. It's actually, it is actually more of a grayish blue. I think because it's got so much black in it. Um, but I'm just not being able to pick up the correct blueness <laughs> for you. But there you go. Um, yeah, so you could do a, a little top coat over that just to cover that that silver glitter there it's not very high so it'd be easy to do um, but you know if you're just practicing like I am you might want, not want to spend any more time on it but I think it's really pretty it's probably one of the best ones I've made so far what do you think love it I just need to get these petals a little bit smaller um, when you're using a th well the thinner resin the white tends to move and spread more, so you t end up getting the longer petals. Um, the, th the thicker resin, um, the little droplets of white, well, the white just sort of drops straight down um, and makes the smaller petals, whereas the thinner resin makes the longer petals. So, yeah, I'll, I'll keep playing around with it. But, um, yeah, look how sparkly the edge is. It's so pretty. Really happy with it even though I had to just kind of fix up the center, but that's okay. I don't mind doing that. I'm trying to show, oh, I don't know that I can show you what the true color looks like. No, it's just picking up blue. When I take a photo, I'll see if I can edit it to make it look more of the gray blue that it is. It's just not showing it. Never mind. <laughs> There's cameras for you. Greens look blue. Grey blues look blue, <laughs> but there you go. Really happy with the outcome. So I'm glad I went back and did it again. So when I do this again, um, and I will do it again. Oh, look, it matches my nails. Don't look at my nails. I need to redo them. But look, at my colours match. <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. I didn't do that. Um, yeah, um, I'll do it again. And definitely will use my, my bloom paste again. And I'll use the craft resin again. Um, yeah, it's worked really well. So there you go, very excited. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all again real soon for the next one. Take care. Bye for now.